Yo again, what's up, man? How you doing? Welcome to my channel. If you're new, can I just prompt you to subscribe and also hit the bell notification so you know when I release a video. Also, guys, if you're new, also follow my Instagram handle. I do have a business with my girlfriend. We sell shoes, we sell, you know, clothing or parallel, essentials, you name it. We sell pretty much everything. I'm going to leave, leave the link on the description box down below. So make sure you check that out. So today we cover a shoe that is so special as part of the Zoom series from Jordan. Um, I think it's the fourth silhouette they're releasing. They've released quite a few silhouettes before, but as I was saying before, I don't find that people are fans of uh, the uh, the Zoom series. They never sell quite well. But as a shoe itself, I can't fault it, except for the black one that they released before. That was trash. There was a black one which they released, and the silver one, which uh, changed color. It was reflective. Those two were really, 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 really bad. They didn't do quite well. I remember the... The poor man's Dior, that was pretty good. That done pretty well. Then they also recently released the London Jordan 1 Zoom. That was a very nice cut as well. So for this to come, actually it's the fourth shoe now that I think about it. So for this to come in as well, it's coming at the right time. I'd have preferred if this shoe came out before St. Patrick's Day. I don't know why they've brought it like uh, in the UK, like after St. Patrick's Day. One thing I find is like with these shoes, you find like in America, they get them quite early. Because of us in the UK and the EU having a bit of a, you know, of a friction right now, as the UK market, we tend to suffer and get the shoes, like, you know, last as well. So what can we do? Anyways, let's move on, guys. So we're going to get the information from and big ups to them. Make sure you go follow them on Instagram. And yeah, let's just start reviewing the shoe, guys. So I'm going to do like a review and also do like a resale prediction as well. So as you guys can see, this shoe is green, white and black. Simple colors. But at the same time, they work together. Nike actually put them together in an array of, you know, colors which blend and it presents this very gorgeous view before my eyes. So we'll start with the front of the shoe. You've got green on the front where the toes are. Then you've also got on top of the toes, the white. But then the white is a bit like of a unique white. It's made from this industrial cloth. You know your overalls, your dickies, and all of that stuff here. Yeah? You know how they've got this like industrial texture. So it's got that as well. And also one thing that also springs into my mind as I'm looking there is in the middle part of the shoe, you'll notice the Nike swoosh is a different Nike swoosh. It's actually been shaped with the materials. They've not actually glued on a Nike swoosh as well. This reminds me of the Lucky Green. So the Lucky Green had a black swoosh and also the uh, the Jordan wing emblem was also red as well, whereas now it's actually black as well. And this shoe gives me a deconstructed vibe to it as well. You'll know what I mean because the top part of the shoe is exposed and you can see the sponge as well. I actually raised this issue with the London edition shoes. I was like, with the sponge materials, I'm not quite sure when it rains and you get caught in the rain. As we live in the UK, it's gray outside, it's spring, as you guys can see behind me, it is gray. You know, it's gonna rain today. So you don't wanna find yourself walking and getting caught in the rain because the sponge can be quite fragile. So anyways, we're gonna scroll down. As you can see, the ruffles uh, finishes in this almost seven days time. So that's your side profile there. As you can see, guys, if you look at the middle uh, part, you can see the lines or the grains on the material there. You can see it's industrial as well. So the shoe comes in a suede. So the difference compared to the lacquer green and these is this comes in a suede as well. So it's beautiful to get a suede shoe and uh, a cloth shoe together. But what I do worry about is how's the white material gonna fare if you get some scuff marks? Cause I find like when I get in and out of the car, I've got a black car. Sometimes you might get like a, a black line on your shoes. So I'll be very, very, very scared and very careful that I don't get the marks on there. So I wonder if Crep Protect or any other cleaning company there are gonna make, you know, um, chemicals that are friendly for this sort of material. Cause we spend quite a lot of money. So you've got to worry about that. And also moving on as well, guys, you can see it's got like a, a green, a dark green sole and also a light green sole as well on the inside. I like that, it's fantastic. I also like the deconstructed look about it. As you can see where the lacing line goes on the side, there's like a cut over there. It's just like, you can, you don't really have to do your laces all the way to the top. If you didn't do your laces all the way to the top, 
you'll find that the top part which you can put the two it's got the two holes for the laces if you just put it if you just put it like halfway that part will still like kind of come out into the open so yeah it's got that deconstructed feel about it then we'll just scroll about and look at the bird's eye view this is what i was talking about it's got that weird deconstructed look so when you look from the top and you're looking to the inside of the shoe you can see the internals are open from the top you've got the sponge on the tongue itself and then on the borderline it's as if you've got two borderlines as if you've got like a sock within a shoe but the sock's got the sponge in the inner lining which is quite different i wonder how in terms of comfort also in time in terms of like a ventilation how you know um a person's going to feel comfortable if they live in a hot climate because sponge as well in summertime can be very you know um can be very uh can uh give you problems in the heat so that'd be pretty interesting so you got zoom air as well in green and the majority of the shoe internal is actually black yeah man it's a simple shoe but it really does work well really really does work well that's the other side profile as well that's the back as well nice and simple it works really well honestly i can't really fault these shoes i think the only thing i'll say when it comes oh hang on a second hang on a second Woo, look at that sole yeah that is dope i like it what sort of grin would you say this is babes The middle part. Like a lime green -ish. Yeah, so I thought in it. So, so you've got like a lime green on the inside. Then you've got a dark green on the outside. I like that touch. I think that was the last image. So let's come to resetting. So, right. So with some part of stages having passed on. And also with the lacquer green being part of the market as well. And they release quite a lot of units. I think you'll find with this one. It will not make as much money as you think straight on just for now let me uh contextualize it right so because this shoe is closely matched to the lacquer green you'll find that people will probably like have the option to choose so that will affect the price quite a lot and you've got a lot of casual fans when it comes to sneakers then you've got some loyal fans what i mean about casual fans is these are fans that like see people wearing jordans or for example people are wearing essentials nowadays quite a lot and a lot of supreme so that person hasn't has never been into supreme or essential fear by god you know before then they start buying shoes and start buying this clothing they will not really care what they pick up as long as it says fear by god essentials or supreme they don't care really right so i call them casual then you get the sneakerheads that are loyal they will probably stick to um, either stick to the Jordan brand itself or the Zoom brand itself. So you find with the Jordan fans, the st strictly Jordan one fans, you know, sometimes might tend to criticize the Zoom as in the Zoom is always the afterthought. It's, you know, it's rushed. There's no like, you know, time taken to do research and development. So it depends. So I think this shoe is the one to buy because a lot of people are going to sell it for a cheaper price. And if you hold into the shoe for another year, you will definitely start to see some profit. It's a very beautiful colorway. I can't really afford it. You know, we've seen beautiful colorways time and time again. But it's just sometimes the shoe has been released in a similar design before. And I think with this one, it's unfortunate that, that you know, um, Jordan done that. So I'd say definitely buy a couple of pairs. Get, get like a full size and range and just hold them for at least a year if you can afford to, you know. If you can't afford to, then yeah, bit of a difference. And also with Zooms, they always cost a little bit more than the Jordan ones. Actually, these are kind of cheap, the £125. Yeah, the £125. So these in the end are releasing in women's sizing and also men's sizing as well. Yeah, £125. That's pretty different. That's quite different. Normally they cost like £155. So that's not bad. That's really, really cheap really 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 cheap so yes guys just want to say thanks for watching guys and also guys keep subscribing we're trying to get to three thousand followers before summertime starts officially so i depend on you 
And what I'll do is when I get to three and a half thousand subscribers, I will give three cash prizes. I'm gonna give two people 30 pounds each. Then I'm gonna give one person 20 pounds as well. All you gotta do is send me the screenshot of you following my Instagram and a few subscribe to my channel as well. Just wanna say thanks for watching guys. Peace, God bless, we out.